Um, I'd argue that concepts like Alexa and um, Siri, they're just very culturally understood as what I found when the children were talking about them. It wasn't really a matter of whether, you know, whether they have an Alexa at home didn't seem relevant to that. It was this concept of, um, you know, just through pop culture, this idea of, we, you know, we have this thing, you, can, you talk to it, you ask it questions and it responds. And there's something so, you know, so clear and, you know, it's not, not tactile, but very, un very clearly understood by the children of, of, how, of what you could break down the steps really easily for it is what I liked about that. They could see, okay, if I ask this question to the children, um, if, you ask this ch if you ask a question to Alexa, um, that question goes in, something is going on this computer where it recognizes what you say first, then you know, finds a way to make it understood in the way that a computer would understand those words uh, through text, and then translating that in a way which it will recognize, and then breaking down what actually is happening there and what that would actually look like was really interesting. And that gave a lot of opportunity um, to actually think in a more abstract sense and plan out what is actually going on here and sort of use flow charts and things like that to plan those ideas. That's why I think it was particularly useful and, and that's why I felt that it was an, an inclusive choice to, to put it that way. It was something that I thought that every child would understand, um, no matter what their background or um, uh, in terms of you know, the EAL or in English as additional language being an issue there as well. Um, what another thing I really enjoyed about the PICO was it did have a language function on it and that was really great. We had one child in the class uh, who's you know, started uh, came to the country uh, just a couple of months ago during the second, uh, next most recent lockdown uh, with absolutely no English. But he's someone who, someone who has been able to access with this because of its uh, Spanish setting that it has on there. And so he can still see the, what is going on with this Pico. He understands exactly and can relate it still to this idea of uh, some kind of hardware that would use voice recognition and you get a response out of a clear input and a clear output.